Holy Father, Pope Francis. I am Nicky Macolor from Manila. I am a fresh graduate from the Faculty of Engineering, University of Santo Tomas. It has been over a year since Yolanda incident happened. However, my body could still remember the sensations that I felt when I alighted the cargo plane in Leyte. The stench, distraught, and despair. I started to question myself if our research would even have any impact to any of the communities. I hoped it would. I prayed it would. Our project was simple. It was, it was to provide lighting and somehow to also shed some light of hope to the calamity-stricken communities. It was not high-tech, and I did not expect it to be big. I neither dreamt of a flying robot nor a really fancy gadget. I just wanted to create something with my colleagues to be able to help the best way that we could. Also, I wanted to be able to utilize what we have learned from the university. So I challenged myself and other students to do something and make them realize that what good is it to know something but not be able to benefit our country from it, especially at times of calamities. I told them, what we create does not have to be high tech. This, that is not what innovation is all about. Innovation is about change, being able to change other people's lives. And so we did. With the help of experts and NGOs, sectors of the government and UST, we were able to make the portable solar light. However, I did not want it to end there. I wanted to be able, le able to selflessly share the technology. Part of the project was to be able to teach the locals to make it on their own. So instead of just giving it to them, we also taught them how to make it so that they would appreciate the value of work. And despite all this, there was still hope and that no one will be able to help them recover emotionally but themselves. It was difficult, time-consuming, out of our comfort zone, and even, to a certain extent, putting our lives on the line. I was in Davao with a handful of other students when Yolanda hit. I still could recall the rumbling of the plane as it landed on the airport on my way there. Regardless, it was not for us. It was for these people who already lost so much. It is also not every day that I have the opportunity to help people in a great deal. With hard work, patience, and working together, we were able to do something even in our capacity as students. We were not only able to help several communities such as Davao, Leyte, Cebu, Laguna, Tarlac, Tondo, and Aklan, but also parts of Pakistan and India. I guess that is what living is about that we are not isolated entities but part of something bigger. And at times, we may have to leave everything behind to share part of ourselves. Holy Father Pope Francis, how can we be successful without being blinded by earthly pursuits? How can we pursue success and prosperity without being worldly? What more can the youth do how can we, especially the youth, be agents of mercy and compassion? Thank you.
pagbasa mula sa unang sulat ni Apostol San Pablo kay Timoteo. Pinakamamahal, huwag mong bigyang daan na hamakin ka ninuman dahil sa iyong kabataan. Sa halip, pagsikapan mong maging huwaran ng mga sumasampalataya sa pananalita, ugali, pag-ibig, pananampalataya, at kabanalan. Iukul mo ang iyong panahon sa pagbabasa ng kasulatan sa madla, sa pangangaral at pagtuturo hanggang sa ako'y dumating. Huwag mong pabayaan ang ipinagtaloob sa iyo ng Espiritu Santo ayon sa inihula ng ipatong sa iyo ng matatanda sa simbahan ang kanilang kamay. Isagawa mo ang mga ito at lubos mong italaga rito ang iyong sarili upang makita ng lahat ang iyong pag-unlad. Maging maingat ka sa iyong pagkilos at mga bagay na ito upang maligtas ka pati ang mga nakikinig sa iyo. Ang salita ng Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. Salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock, my salvation, my fortress. 